Oh boy, it's the first podcast that I'm doing as a man in his 30s. I've reached it. Oh, I'm so young. Ooh, ooh. I'm not even a person and I already feel old. <laughs> oh, this is just a continuation of the shittiness of my 20s, but... All right. So as a uh, as someone who's in their thirties now, uh, it's it's appropriate to be watching cartoons like Ren and Stimpy, <laughs> which uh, I don't know. I guess I just I, I I saw a bit of Ren and Stimpy when I was twenty, and then I uh, yeah I just bought the box set recently. <laughs> I don't know why. I just randomly was like, oh, it's pretty cheap. So I picked it up, and now I've started watching it, and I am enjoying it. It's a uh, fun funny show it is it is good i think it's mostly like the animation that really gets me is uh yeah they've got that nice detailed gross animation a lot of uh you know like i was watching an episode yesterday where it was like it was called uh stimpy's son of stimpy and it was like his fart and it was like a whole 20 minute episode about him farting and he's like trying to find his fart so that's kind of the humor that's that's what i'm after the uh the toilet humor uh and and yeah pretty childish i thought there was something else i don't know but what i have to talk about man is um the episode ren's two fake is really fucked up because i've watched a lot of gory movies and horror movies and all that sort of thing that i like very much gory and bloody and violent but there's really something about the violence in this episode that's just um that fucks me up like unlike these gory movies because it really puts a focus on the pain and all this like and i knew it was going to be bad but it was so much worse than i thought like ren has a toothache and then Stimpy starts telling him, like, why he's got a toothache. He's like, there's a beaver inside your teeth that gnaws away on your nerve endings. I was like, oh, God, that's terrible. Then Ren's teeth shatter, and he his nerve endings are just, like, hanging off of his gums. And Stimpy's like, if you put your nerve endings under your pillow, the nerve ending fairy will come. So he's, like, plucking each one, one by one. And I was like, fuck, dude, I'm not, I couldn't finish the episode. I couldn't do it. Man, that's just... The kind of focus on... How it is... How pain comes about... Is like something that you don't even see a lot... In like violent movies. Like you just see someone get shot and that's it. And you know, that makes sense. Because you're not actually seeing... The nerve endings... Of them. Because that's not usually what you see... Even with real life gore. It's just... Because they can take it to such a cartoonish level... That they're able to show a beaver inside your teeth gnawing away at your nerves and that's why you have a toothache it just really got me fucked up man all right and this is the first time this has happened when i was watching a spongebob episode where what was it the splinter oh god when he gets a splinter and it's just the fucking how much like an exaggerated amount of detail on this like on this con gruesome condition that he has and it's just you know it's like the splinter is like pussing and has pus coming out of it and it's like throbbing and as i was watching the episode i felt like a sharp pain in my legs that that was so big that it like made me jolt up and smash my legs against the table i don't know what that was all about but when that happened i was like whoa this show is having like a literal painful effect on me somehow I'm going to stop watching this. So I haven't finished that episode either. And there's also that other bit where it was much quicker, but it wasn't as, it wasn't like focusing on it throughout the entire episode. Like these two did, but another episode where SpongeBob and Squidward are trying to move a table and SpongeBob drops it on Squidward's foot or tentacle and like scrapes it along. You can see the bones sticking out as he's pushing it. Oh man. So I can I can handle gory movies, gory TV shows, even footage of real life gore. Real life people getting absolutely fucked up and dying and dead and all that. And you know, some of it may like whoa get to me a bit, but it's just the fucking over exaggerated attention to detail and the focus on like a, a real 
a real, what do you call it, like, kind of trauma that's been cartoonishly exaggerated. You know, that's the thing that gets me. That's the thing that fucks me up, man. And it's a kid's show. It's literally PG rated. And it fucks me up more than anything. It's gorier than anything else I've ever seen. So, hot damn. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with, like, gory movies. They usually don't get to me. Apart from uh, 127 hours. Whew, uh, I'm glad I didn't see it in the cinemas. I needed a nap. <laughs> I needed to lie down on my bed halfway through that film. Or towards the end. Oh, man. So that... Yeah, that shit fucks me up, man. Oh, God. I need to get better with, like, gore and giving blood. <laughs> I need to watch videos of people giving blood so I can then give blood for whatever reason I'll need to at some point. I mean, you, you got to when you grow up. <laughs> for some reason, you just got to give blood. You just got to do it. I've only given blood once. And when I went in the room, I was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to do too well with this. Look out. So they did it. And I felt really woozy. And then the person was just like, quick, stand up. I'm like, why? Just, they were just like, stand up. You got to get out of here. I'm like, I'm going to pass out, man. Why are you getting me to do this? So, all right, next, next up, man, man, oh man, this new Spotify, this new Spotify sucks dick. And uh, I'm not surprised. Like, I'm really just not surprised by this kind of bullshit anymore. But really... It is so bad. I mean, how can I really describe it? Well, if I go to a, if I go to just a random person's uh, page, so I guess the main thing is that first of all, you have popular releases. Like, fuck off! I don't want that. Just go straight to the albums. Then you go to albums, but you have to click see discography. Oy vey! And if they got a big discography, and you click on an album, and then you click back off that album. It takes you back to discogra discography, full discography. It takes you to the top of the page of that. Ah, it wasn't doing that before. So that's bullshit. That's just like a whole bunch of other clicks that need to be made, which is unnecessary. And the same thing with search. Like when you click search. Ah, I'm looking at this and it's just such a bunch of bullshit. I mean, what I'm looking at is recent searches. You have to click see all again. And then I guess that's not so bad. But again, an unnecessary click because instead of showing me all of my search, all of things that I've searched for before, which is, was really handy. Instead, they're showing me like that, but only on one line. And then under that, your top genres, whoa, rock music, click on rock music. Oh, what else do you want to listen to? <laughs> all these other fucking, all these, uh, is this an album? All these other new releases and genres and playlists. Fuck off. I don't I don't need to discover shit, alright? I'm I know what music I want to listen to, so fuck off Spotify. Uh just as I was getting premium. Just as I got premium. What a fucking bummer. I'm sure there's other shit that I hate about Spotify that I, I can't see right now. Fuck that shit, man. Alright, on to something good now. So hey, you know that caramel milk? chocolate that's out oh yeah it was was it caramel with white chocolate mixed together oh, fuck yeah fuck yeah man that shit's good that shit's real good well they had this new one come out called caramel marble and i think it has almond in it well i thought it had almond in it uh, and i thought because it's called marble it's just going to be like a big block of almond in the middle of the chocolate the caramel chocolate and i was like ah oh, fuck that i don't know what that but one of my friends bought some for me for my birthday so I finally tried some and oh, oh, the inside is almond or hazelnut. I could get up and look at it in my fridge right now, but I'm just going to do it on my computer instead. So it wasn't exactly a marble in the middle. Yeah, it's hazelnut, not fucking almond. Whatever, I, I don't care about nuts. Fuck nuts. But this hazelnut is a, what's it called? A praline center. And I didn't know what that was. And I thought, because of the name Marble, I thought it would be a big chunky nut. But no, it's a praline, which is... They just made it into a chocolate, really. They just made it into a soft center. So a soft hazelnut center. Oh, man. Oh, man. A hazelnut center inside of this chocolatey caramel. 
oh, holy shit, man. I'm going to have to buy up thousands of these because and keep them in my fridge. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, that's going to take me a week to get through a thousand packets. Oh, man. This shit is good. This shit is, oh, man. I'm jerking off right now. <laughs> oh, it's, um, it is. I don't really know how to describe it, but it was way better than I thought. It wasn't what I was expecting. So I guess it should have a different name. It should be called Caramel Praline. Oh, my God. Praline Caramel. Because goddamn, is that shit tasty? And I'm trying to make it last, but it's really hard. So that's all I got to say about that. Now, now we're switching it up again. Now back onto a bad topic, I suppose. Oh, man, just thinking about that praline makes me want to pass out right now. <laughs> have blood come out of me. Oh. So Elon Musk was on SNL. <laughs> and I didn't really watch much of it, but I don't really give a crap. But I had a little bit of a look, and it really was exactly how you expect it to be. I just sort of skimmed through the Mario Wario sketch that they did. And it is one of those... Like, people in the comics are just... Comments are just saying... What the hell is this? But to me, it is what you'd expect. It is like a hopeless sketch. A completely hopeless sketch. Mostly badly acted. Not really getting the characters that they're doing. And it's kind of just like, what the fuck do we do? We have Elon Musk. Oh, oh he's going to play Wario, I guess. Oh, and he's, I don't know, on trial in a courtroom. Ha 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 ha. He's characters that you know but they're in a serious situation so that's fine enough to do but it just the execution was just so incredibly poor and just no good jokes and then they had to shoehorn in a political figure in it at the end just to be like hey remember trump and then that kind of thing mario wow covid coronavirus who does that sound like it doesn't sound like lenny Hey, Oma, I'm, Mar I'm Mario. Am I Mario? Is Lenny Italian? I never knew that. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm just doing a worse job than them. So, yeah, I didn't really watch the opening or the other skets, skets, sketches. I don't know. I think I skimmed through them a bit. I'm sure Elon Musk was like, oh, Mars. <laughs> Did he make any jokes about that? I bet he didn't make a joke funnier than what my friend said. It, my friend just kept, just mentioned in passing, like, if people end up on Mars, people are eventually going to start a flat Mars society. And I thought, hey, that's a funny, satirical bit of fucking humor there. And he should write for SNL. He should be the only writer and performer, and he'd fucking do a better job, and I'd fucking watch it if it was just that. Oh, my God. Uh -uh. I have my dog over at the moment and she's like trying to jump up on the couch. She can do it. She can do it, but she's just refusing. She, she... <laughs> Get a run up. Do a run up. It's funny. She keeps like bracing like she's going to go up and she doesn't. Oh, you fucking twerp. Just get a bit of a run up. Jesus. Why are you standing right next? You did a run up onto it. You do this all the time. <laughs> It's so funny. And now she's pissed off at me. Run, Safi. Run up onto it. Oh, you're fucking pathetic. Why don't you just come over here instead? Come up here on me. You're a loser. Mm. Ah, she's so comfy. She's so fluffy and cuddly. Damn, she's like a fluffy teddy bear toy. You're my toy, Safi. You're my fucking toy. You hear me? It's all you ever are. It's all you've ever meant to me. <laughs> all right. Anyway, on to the saga of selling bullshit. And I never remember what I said in the last episode. So fuck, I gotta... And I don't even think I've even sold that much or anything at all. Uh, fuck me. Let's just leave a bit of room. Oh, these in order. Fucking hell.
God damn it. I'm away from the microphone now because can't fucking because this goddamn dog. All right, fuck me. Anyway, uh, did I talk? Fuck. Did I talk about stamps? Stamp collection. So I got a bunch of stamp collections. <laughs> well, my dad bought them. He bought. He's bought like I think thousands of dollars worth. He's just bought like two from every year since '89, or up till 2011. So it's just got like 40 fucking stamp books, and he never even opened them or ever used them or anything. I think it was just expecting to buy them and sell them later when they um, appreciated in value, but they didn't. They appreciated. No, they de depreciated, then appreciated back to how much they originally were. So no big deal. But I tried selling them. And then one guy was asking me about them, about like 20 of them. And he wanted them for like half price. And I was like, fuck that. And then he didn't get back to me. And I'm like, all right, man, you, you win half price. And then he's like, I only want the stickers. I mean, well, stamps. I just want the stamps. I don't want the books. And I'm like, oh, geez, well, if I'd have known this earlier, I would have sold it for you for half price for just the stamps or maybe slightly more. But then I would have gotten back to <laughs> the half. So, yeah, anyway, I sent them off. Oh, for a pretty penny. Oh, a pretty penny. And now, and then my dad found some more of the books. So I've sent those stamps off as well. So I'm making fucking 1100 off these stamps alone. God damn, man. God damn. And I've still got the books to sell. That's the problem, though. Mm. Are people asking me about them? Man, I need to advertise this shit. This shit. Um... But, uh, yeah, you better give me that money. <laughs> I, I just need to get the next payment because I sent some more. Um, so I got a bunch of stamp books with no stamps in them. If anyone wants them, I mean, they're quite nice books. So they're only $10 each. So I don't know. How much am I going to make off that if I were to sell them? Like 230 Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, there's that. And there's uh, the... I finally sold the rest of my Game Boy Advance games, which I've only got three. And I sold one of... Oh, I, gotta, I gotta get close to this goddamn mic. I sold one of them before, and then I sold the other two. And I was fucked up because I had them priced for $15 each. But I accidentally listed them separately as $10 somewhere else. And I tried... And I did delete them as the guy was talking to me about buying them. Then he was like, oh, hey, man, I think I saw elsewhere you're selling them for $10. And I'm like, oh, God damn it, you fucking got me. You cocksucker, you fucking got me. All right, $10 each. God damn it. <laughs> and that, that was the GBA games were Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Dragon Ball Z, the Legacy of Goku. Oh, man. Man, I didn't really like the Game Boy Advance games I bought. But the Nintendo DS was a game changer. I liked the games on that shit. I've... Is that it? Is that all I've sold? I just checked Marketplace. I mean, I've talked about Dragon Ball Z, Crazy Bones, and all this other shit. So where the fuck... Yeah, I've, uh, you know, please buy the rest of my shit. I need to get rid of all this crap. People keep asking me about my Wii, and I keep telling them, like, yeah, you know, come pick it up, and then they don't get back to me. Fucking, god damn it, these cocksuckers. Why can't they... When people say, like, oh, I'm not interested in, in this anymore, I'm just like, cool, that's fine. Why can't people just say that? Can't, can't they just be like, yeah, I don't want this anymore, or I do want to buy it. Dude, fucking tell me. Uh, or, I don't know shit. <laughs> Alright, what, what else... What was it? Oh yeah, I was just um I just spent like the last 40 minutes fucking going through my Dragon Ball Z cards finally and trying to work out if any of them are rare. I have like 135 cards, but but um I don't think any of them were rare. And I've also got some double ups and triple ups, so I've probably got closer to like 200 cards. God damn it. God damn. I don't know. So I estimate this, how much would it be worth? $130. Kind of a buck each card, but it's also got like the little container in it. Anyway, I'll see if I can sell that shit because someone was asking about it. So I might be able to. Oh boy, this is how I work. This is, uh, this is how I win. 
All right, well, fucking that's it then for this cunting podcast. It's just a bunch of bullshit chocolate and shitty comedy sketch shows and uh, good cartoons. Yeah, we should all be watching Ren and Stimpy and not fucking SNL. SNL's just like, ugh. I'm Hillary Clinton. Ah, stick it up my ass. I don't know. Is that, is that the kind of... No, they, they go for more like, I'm Hillary Clinton. I mean, they can't make any jokes about, like, huge things going on in the world. No Israel-Palestine conflict. They, I guess they can talk about COVID, but it's like, I'm Hillary Clinton wearing a face mask. It's got Trump's face on it. Whoa, wacky. Ah, uh, shh. I don't know. I, I need to watch more SNL so I can properly parody them. I'm sorry, everyone. I really made a mistake. But, uh, hey, you know, I'm 30, all right? I'm fucking 30 years old and I've done nothing with my life, but I'm going to put a gun to my head if I could get my hands on one. I, I think get, getting a gun here in Perth is, like, very expensive. I went to a gun range. I wasn't using a gun. I was using some sort of projectile thing. And then we were talking about, like, uh getting a license like a registration and yearly it's like 320 or something and then there's all these other costs and it's like god damn can, can i just can, why do i have to pay for all this crap i had to pay for a covid 19 hygiene test recently that was 20 dollars. why do i have to pay for all this bull crap like this is stuff that i need to have to live a life so fuck off with this with these gun laws in Perth too stringent this is bullshit I have a second amendment here all right they need to um I get paying for a gun a gun's probably going to be reasonably expensive I wonder how much they (laughs) should look on Facebook a gun is is going to be yeah um 300 I don't know 700 dollars buying bullets not as bad so just, just give me a gun so I can kill myself because <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Oh, God. I just don't want to be 31. <laughs> 38's okay. 31 is like, oh. You know, I think anyone being 31 is just like, oh, what, what is my life? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. God damn. All these fucking cunts out there living a life and they're just like, oh, God, why am I doing this? I've had enough. I wish I was born in the year 50 BC and I would have been dead by now. Because I've been reading about history, just history in general. And yeah, back in the days, if you could be like a bloody Mongolian nomad or something, you'd probably just get raped to death <laughs> by a bunch of faggy Mongolians. You're like, hey, you guys are gay. You're gay. No, we're not. We're just <laughs> it's been 30 hours since we have any pussy. <laughs> the next village is quite a few days away. We need it now, damn it. How? Are you going really hard on my ass? This ass rape is fucking killing me. And now I'm dead at 30 years old. What a way to live. What a way to die. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's end this bitch. So this has been the David Morgan Brown Experience. <clears throat> um, and I sure hope I uploaded the last podcast. This is episode five, and it's the 18th of the 5th right now. Oh, fuck me. Did I? I always... Did I? Did I upload it? Yes, indeed. Yay! Uh. All right, sorry. All right, I am indeed out.